Greetings and salutations class, boys and girls. As you guys can see, Charles with the most, Paul Can too. Back with a trip to the thrift video, but today is a thrift outfit challenge. Yes, where I try and build outfits from the ground up, all in the thrift store. And uh, the premise and base of these outfits are these guys. Yes, sir, that is right, ladies and germs. I have been blessed with three fire classic sneaker silhouettes from the fine folks at Puma. Now I do want to thank them, number one, for sending me an absolute classic, and number two, for sending me a shoe that is really affordable, coming in at only $65 retail, and the link's in the video description if you guys want to grab a pair of these. They are the classic Puma suede. Now these shoes are absolutely Glorious, super soft, very comfortable, and rooted in history. They came out in 1968. So these things definitely take vintage to the next level. And Tommy Smith made them famous when he did a protest for human rights and racial equality during the Olympics, raising his fist in the air. He also had a puma in his hand um, when he took the podium. So that's just some cool history behind this classic sneaker silhouette. So the first color we have is this red rendition right here. And the box says it's high risk red bro i don't even know what high risk red is but maybe it's just like that alert button whenever like people are breaking in your house and you're low-key a ninja Rocky the but these are fire and they are classic now the other two colorways we have similarly will help me build some insane thrift fits and um the next color scheme is the skunk colorway as I'm gonna call it just because this light stripe is something like a skunk's back very clean and as always I love the gold hits because you guys know man we straight up just love gold so this is another great color scheme anything can match with black so of course I need that and last is certainly not least before we hit these trenches the last colorway is the all gray kind of like armadillo armor color scheme very sick very lovely so uh without further ado man let's lace up in the red pair because obviously that's my favorite and uh get to these thrifts Ladies and gents, we are at the first store of the day, which is the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store. So we're gonna really try and start off this um, thrift fit challenge right and see if we can have all the fits found in this first spot. We'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get inside. All right, man, we are live in Salvation Army and the first find is this beautiful Carl Kanai. Huh. So this will go perfectly Perfect. with the gray shoes. So I think I have to get it. It's size XL. It's like a hockey jersey type of vibe. Just look at those embossed letters. Ooh. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, $3. I'll drill y'all. All right, man. Peep the science on this shirt, though. You have the Ford Racing vintage long sleeve. Look at the striping and piping. You guys cannot tell me this isn't a match made in heaven. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Match.com, farmers only. Can you do better than this? I like to see it. Cop, oh my goodness. I could step in the building looking like Big Bird. Look at this clean 90s essential. Again, cozy vibes all around. Tritone collar, butamis, super soft. I'm gonna have to try this dude out as well. Right now I'm just grabbing pieces. That way I can construct the best fits possible with an arsenal of clothes. Okay, I like to see this. Look at that, got him in that stranglehold. Um, you have this really cool 1998 vintage state wrestling tee. Now this is perfect, perfect to layer with. So I might throw this in the cart. It's like a dollar today, made in USA. Yeehaw, let's get it. All right, I've been cruising and perusing and check out this devil dog right here, man. Look at this little pooch. Now this is perfect for layering with. Perfect. Obviously it has the gray to go with the gray shoes and the red to go with the red. So we're like dual wheel, dual purposing this t-shirt and you could layer it. So I'm definitely gonna get this dude. Really cool graphic. And then look at that. It has the Mitchell B25 bomber on the back. Very cool with the schematic print. This thing is fly, literally. 
All right, I had to proceed to the formal section to find a couple of clothing selections. And man, this store just has about everything I need, even for the formal fits. I mean, classic 90s color blocking with the red encrustation. You have little lobster hits all over these. Let's go, both of them together are $6. You can't be mad at that. My goodness. <laughs> And then they're coming through with the tropical vibes as well. I'm feeling unstoppable. All right, so one crucial step when building thrift fits is obviously to have something to layer with. So I have these two beautiful graphic tees that can just be poking out of a flannel overlay. And just, guys, we're building layers. You have this nice gray, blue, and red to go with the red shoes. Then again, you have a blue and red to also offset the socks. Man, these flannels rock. Uh, I'm gonna see about grabbing both of these and the gray of the dog's like skin tone and fur texture definitely goes with the gray of this shirt and the gray of the shoes. So we're creating multiple fits for all the shoe color schemes. Perfect. So y'all can see the cart is absolutely loaded with upper body torso garments, but the hardest part are finding bottoms that will work. So we are in the shorts and pants section and finding something that's my size with the correct fit is definitely going to be a task, but um, I'm ready to tackle it. Big guy right there, wow. We gotta start off in the George section for men. You guys know we don't play that. What size are these, 38? Come on, man. Size 34, I'm like size 32, but the dressing rooms are closed. So we're just taking shots in the dark. But hopefully it's like shooting fish in a barrel and these will work. So the deep dive of the pants section is complete and we have about five options to hit the thighs for the low price of $3.50. You have some Levi's 512 skinny jeans, size 33 by 32. These are giving me the impression that they're almost like maternity jeans-esque. But hey, you know what? We'll try it out. Pregnant Paul, let's get it. You also have the $12, $6 today. Black Levi's 5.11s. So these will definitely be a viable option. And then uh, it is summertime, so I need some cool skies out, thighs out, kneecap revealing action. So you have some Chaps Golf. Six dollars three for your boy, and then these little random tan uh, shorts. These kind of look like a bagel, man. Absolutely toasted to perfection. These are like two dollars. And then last but not least, you guys saw it at the beginning. We have the jorts or the dad jean shorts. So uh, yeah, hopefully these work. All right, guys. So we're out of there. And check out, yes, sir. <laughs> Just check out the size of these bags, bro. My arm can barely even hold them. So I spent probably about $40 on everything for the challenge in and of itself. And then I got some other items as well. But guys, just look at those sacks. All right, my brethren, we're live at the next spot. Goodwill. Hopefully they have some good clothes in here for this thrift challenge. Let's check it out. All right, y'all, we're live in the building. And the first catch in this thrift you guys know my philosophy, man. My saying, fishes get you hella what? Hella biatches. You have the literal hook up. Ha! Vintage strap back. This thing is amazing. Uh, I definitely have to grab this and incorporate it in some fit. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Dude, I didn't even have to look hard. But this shirt is hella hard. Okay, check this out, man. You have this eagle looking lethal bird of prey, right? So there's one obvious eagle, but then there's one hidden in the moon, one in the mountain. There's one right here in the trees, another one in this river or whatever abstract design that is, another one in the tree, one in the branches, an eagle flying right here. Bro, shout out the artist who did this. This is circa 1993. And I definitely think we could incorporate the hat with the wildlife shirt, have a full wildlife fit, and maybe rock the black pumas to go with it. Yeah, that definitely is a vibe, man. If this is all I find, bro, it was worth it. Ha ha. All right, so we didn't only find those two items, we found one more, and that's about it. Uh, the Levi's dad shorts, size 34. Now these might be too big for me. Again, no dressing room. Hey, sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. 
Hopefully these work. They're the perfect 90s dad vibe, which we definitely need to incorporate in one of the fits. Yo, look at this poster frame. <laughs> this is perfect as is. I just want to leave this like this. Look at this girl's facial expression, bro. She looks like she's on the verge of just crying. And this dude definitely is seeing demons. <laughs> Y'all was about to check out, but we got one last find, man. To complete the fit in case those shorts are too big. You got the fishes that get you, hella bitches, leather belt. Belt. There's no question. But yeah, I got handfuls of stuff once again. I think I actually have enough to go home and construct some fits. Yo, I definitely do. All right guys, so I'm about to throw these items on, play dress up and see what works the best. And obviously if I don't wear some things that I showed off in the video, they just fit me like booty. But without further ado, welcome to Thriftoria's Secret fashion show welcome to thriftoria's secret fashion show the first fit paul can to is sporting is the wild dog red shoes on the bottom tight black jeans and a flannel oh my god fit two is the big blue look at this man is he dancing who knows oh my god just look at that chest Oh, he hit him with the shoulder roll. Is that Floyd Mayweather? Oh, the booty. Oh, uh, here he comes in the Carl Canai. He is looking like an absolute sex icon. Oh my goodness, big Carl, big Canai. Shut up, everyone, just shut up. He's out. And what on earth is this? Someone get your father, he escaped the trailer park. Oh my god, despicable. Oh my, look at those kneecaps. Oh, he's white, but somehow still ashy. Oh my god! And last and not least, you have the father of three. Yes, he drives a minivan, but he still tries to look fashionable. With the gray Puma suede, oh, he's so quick. Just look at him, an absolute icon. And thus concludes Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. Again, these shoes are only 65 bucks. So choose your flavor by clicking the link in the video description. If you're even somewhat in the market to cop a shoe, this is definitely a classic silhouette. So it really helps me out if you guys just show love, smash a like button, grab a pair if you guys feel inclined to do so, and drop a comment as well. I definitely would like to give a big shout out to Puma once again for always working with your boy. This was a fun video to do and I was pleasantly surprised that the first thrift came up with so many gems. Anyways guys, I'll catch y'all next time. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. And uh, yeah, bro, peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.